it's still pretty common for me to take significant damage, so it feels good. Need to go with an Ego Watch every now and then. You beat a build that... Okay! You beat a build that... You know, tends to wreck you. you finally get a win against it. Feels pretty nice. Alright, so this guy's probably off racing, because at 45, 50 MMR for this account, doesn't make sense that I would be playing a Grandmaster. But... Like, even when I was at on... When I was at 5k, before I took my break, I only ran into a Grandmaster playing ranked... I think maybe, like, I want to say about four times. No more than that, so... Probably a Grandmaster playing off-ranked. Off-ranked. Off-race. Could also be on ranked. And he was what? Zerg? Okay. Cool. So... I mean, I want to go with my 2-1-1. But, eh. I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to do the 2 one, one and then I'm probably going to regret it when it gets shut down really hard. We'll see what happens. How come you know Russian if your name is Luke? Um, so, well, first of all, the reason why I wanted to learn Russian is because Russian literature is my favorite. Like, technically, I'm, like, I'm part Russian, but that's not why I wanted to learn it. But I lived with Russian roommates in college. I did a brief exchange program one summer in Moscow. SCV ready. And... Okay, uh -huh. Go. Go scout. Yes, sir. Young man. Go west. Go west, uh -huh. young SCV. Um, SCV ready. And I take piano lessons and chess lessons in Russian. Bad news. So... Ben? That's pretty much how I learned it. What's going on? And then, Not enough minerals. when I was in university, I had a triple major in English writing, political Go science, ahead. and Russian language. In the rear with the but I tested out of the language requirements because I had minerals. already learned Russian minerals. on my own. So it was, you know, pretty, uh, pretty easy. So I had to take like the history courses and the art courses, things like that. But I didn't have to take the language courses. Not enough minerals. Okay, are you still mining gas? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I should pay attention to this game. This is a grandmaster. Whether he's playing off race or not. Our SCVs are under attack. Our SCVs are under attack. SCV ready. Add on complete. I'm going, I'm going. Big job, huh? SCV ready. This better be good. Right, I am going to try. I'm going to pay attention to this I'm game. Yeah. I do want to win. I like. I really like rising to the challenge. Not Even if they're off minerals. racing, I, I like picking up wins Not against grandmasters. Uh, doesn't Not happen enough. too often, but Not when it does, minerals. it feels great. Not enough minerals. So, really gonna try to go, try hard here. Not enough minerals. Sucks Center. for me. Go, go, go. <laughs> that sucks badly. Go ahead. Really, really Ball wanted to keep ready. that Reaper alive. If I would have gotten the creep tumor, yeah, that would have been nice. As it is now, definitely not worth losing that reaper. Not at all. Very sloppy. And giving up edges, especially against a high level opponent, is not good. Not enough energy. Totally forgot that reactor. Okay. Things are going from bad to worse, guys. Not enough minerals. Okay, he will get in because he has overload speed now. SCV ready. Armed and ready. Additional supply depots. SCV ready. It's not super late, but I don't want it to be late at all. Be in the rear with SCV ready. You want a piece of me, boy? Not good. It's probably going to be about 20 seconds late. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. 
No, I'm gonna do third anyone. command center before double eBay this time. Not enough minerals. Ready for dust off. Not enough minerals. Waiting on you. SCB ready. Now what? research complete. This better be good. SCB ready. Add on. SCB ready. Not enough minerals. Bad news. Not a good position, guys. Ready for so I haven't off. been able to accomplish anything Gangway. yet. Come on. Ready. I mean, like, Go absolutely down. nothing, so this is Not quite bad. I haven't even cleared so? creep, so it's actually really bad. Want a piece of me, boy. Killing a couple queens is nice, for sure. Now what? Gangway, coming through. SCB ready. Research. It's your time. What? Not enough minerals. This better be good. Additional supply depots required. Additional supply depots required. Additional supply depots required. Additional supply add on complete. This better be good. Additional supply depots required. Additional supply depots required. So sloppy right now. I can't build here. Not good. Additional supply depots. Not good. Required. I mean that supply block is just killing me. Armory is late. Everything is going badly, guys. Not enough Everything. Minerals. Not enough. Gangway. Coming. Upgrade complete. SCV ready. SCV ready for dust off. Go, go, go. Fused up, ready to go. Add on. Gangway, coming through. SCV ready. Huh? Give up! What? This better be good. Okay, at least I started... You want a piece of me. My second tier SCV upgrades ready. quickly. Might be the only thing I have going for me. Research complete. Okay, it is in fact Hydras. What's going on? And no Hive transition oh, on so the way from what I can off. tell. SCV ready. Viewed up. Ready. SCV ready. By the numbers, boys. Talk to me. Ah! Go, go, go! Gangway, it's go time! We hear you! What are you gonna give me? Ready. SCV Need a fourth ready. base. Not He's gonna be going up to Hive like any moment now. Not enough minerals. Where's the emergency? Game pause. Alright, we've got a pause. Let's see. Hey, what's up, Jackal? Good to see you. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to scroll up through chat while he's paused here. I think he's straight up though. Dude's 2383. All right, I'm sorry guys. I'll try to get the rest of the chat after this game. Let me uh, let me finish getting wrecked here. This better be good. I mean, I guess in all seriousness, things aren't going that badly for me right now, but I haven't really accomplished anything, and that is a problem in TBC. Not enough minerals. Life flights here. Not enough minerals. Okay, his upgrades are one one. 
Uh, so we're probably on even upgrades. I mean, we are right now, but we'll probably be even for most of the game. Not enough minerals. Oh no! I'm out. I swear I'll be good. I swear I'll be good. I won't do it again. Okay. Yeah, he is quite prepared for that. Okay. Spire and hive. So we've got to go, boys. We have got to go. Fortunately, my upgrades are in good shape. Everything is kind of in good shape. Uh, I've got one real chance to do significant damage at his fourth base. Mineral field depleted. You gonna give me your... This better be good. Upgrade complete. Armed. We've got 3-3 three, three on the way now. Best green gas. Upgrade complete. Insufficient Vespin gas. Ready for dust off. Base is under attack. Mineral field depleted. Mineral field depleted. Our SCVs are under attack. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. boys like i said pretty sure he's off racing but still it's a win against the grandmaster so i'm happy with it there we go that'll be the master's promotion right there <clears throat> for this account can't think of a better way to get it can't think of a better way to get it than against the grandmaster so okay that's a pretty good mmr too so i think that's is that master one or is it master two it's at least master two i think it might be master one Okay, so he was playing unranked. That was a Grandmaster playing main race. Sweet. He was playing unranked, so his MMR was lower, but... Wow. I'm pretty happy with that one, guys. Virus is a GM Zerg. Yeah, that was straight up. Wow, I'm pretty happy with that one. Win versus GM Zerg. 16-bit. Um, All right, let's... um. Let's see what I missed in the chat. I'm pretty pretty happy with that one. Let's see. 
Uh, oh, I'm sorry, still wind. I missed what you said, man. And gig, uh, let's see. I'm gonna go through everything individually here. Uh, giggle. Th I hope I made you proud, man. I hope I made you proud. Uh, still wind. Yes, I'm. I play chess. I started taking lessons in, I believe it was November of last year. So it's been about what I don't know, eight months or something. I haven't played uh, ranked tournaments in real life yet. I just, excuse me, I've just been playing online and studying. But um, online, like on LeeChess.org. My rating for standard play, it's like 1750 or something right now. On chess.com, it's around like 1600. Uh, I don't want to sound, don't want to sound like a whiner. Um, I, I think on chess.com, things are things are harder for uh, for a reason. I'll just say that. I, I think a lot of people um, feel that way. But anyway, so basically, I'm like, what is that? A class B level player. But hopefully, um, hopefully this year, my goal is to start playing. Uh, to register with the uh, U.S. Chess and start playing ranked tournaments in person. So that's the idea. All right, what else did I miss? Okay, I think he's straight up. Yeah, not afraid. So I was actually a bit surprised there. L uh, low GM, from what I could tell. I think 50. What was it? it was like his MMR was like 53 something. I, th I think that's low. Yeah, that's low GM, but it's a GM. So. I hate when you I hate when that happens when you play someone who's either they're playing random or they're playing their main race in unranked and their MMR is a lot lower and you uh you know you you get a win but and it's only like that was only credited for like a 4900 something zerg but whatever happy with the game I, I think I played well so I'm mostly happy with that thank you it's here that's very kind Thanks a lot, Jackal, uh, for wishing me good luck. Let's see. Fell out of masses, but new internet coming in September. Uh, yeah, that's right. You guys up in Maine have pretty poor internet. It was you and someone else. I can't think of who it was, but I remember you guys played in a tournament that I hosted, and you both had bad internet. Okay, I'm going to back into it lately, trying to stream more. By the, uh, do I have you guys followed? Yeah, thank you, Jackal. I appreciate it uh, for the... Good game, well played on the promo game. Yeah, so th this account, I just got it, what was it, like a week ago or something? Or it was more than that, but I had to play all, of, it was a free account, so I had to play all of the, you know, the 10 days of um, unranked games. And I think I just started playing ranked play about a week ago. But, I don't think I have you guys followed, Giggle Bear and Jackal. So I'm actually going to follow both of you guys right now. I didn't know that you guys stream. So I always like checking out um, fellow streamers. As you can probably tell by uh, by how many players I follow. So, all right, Giggle Bear, I got you followed. Jackal, gonna give you a follow now as well. So hopefully I'll see you guys streaming some point soon. All right, I think I got everything in chat. Kind of strange it wasn't transitioned to high for so long, even without you dealing him damage. I agree. Um, I was a little bit surprised by that. Um, if you don't mind, I'll um, I'll watch it. But um, before I watch it, I like to test my read on the game first. So my read on it was that he did indeed transition a bit late to Hive. <clears throat> my guess is that uh, maybe he. Um, First of all, I'm not positive. He may have like gone with a macro hatchery, um, fourth base, obviously, but I think he may have like replenished an army prior to going into hive. I could be wrong about that. We're gonna find out. But yeah, the hive was a little bit late because I never did any damage with the two one one. I constantly threatened with it, but I never did any proper damage. Uh, with that being said, two one ones don't really get much damage done nowadays usually like if you're lucky you know you kill some links you kill some creep tumors maybe a queen or two i did kill a couple of queens here or might have just been one and that was nice but you know not really enough to delay hive so i do want to find out why his hive was seemingly a little bit late thanks for the fall yeah my pleasure um like i said i i enjoy watching streams uh 
you know, pretty much regardless of level. I like watching people trying to progress. So whether it's a, you know like a, a gold league player, platinum, a fellow masters player, I just like watching people trying to progress and you know battling the same ladder that I'm battling. So. I think if I saw your bio correctly, uh, was it Diamond 1 um, is your league? If I saw that correctly. 211 deals damage if you're <laughs> Yeah. All right, so here we go. So, you know, Creep Tumor. Um, did I already get that one queen? Yeah, I think I got one queen. Creep Tumor. Eh, lost the Marine for it. A little bit disappointing. Okay, here's his lair. How many queens does he have at the moment? So, okay, so five queens. That's because he lost one. Plus one Carapace. I think this second evolution chamber just finished. A lot of Zergs have been doing a single Evo for Carapace into second Evo for the double upgrades. Uh, I will point out, this is something that I have not done much of, is bring a third medevac full of marines up to the, cle the, the creep clearing squad, and it makes it very dangerous. So if he engages me with just this, with proper micro, I can kill this. Uh, it, it's a bit tricky. I need to focus down all the banelings, but I can definitely kill this. Three medevacs of marines can take this on for sure. Now, if he had all uh, these links here, I probably couldn't. But so my point is that there is a threat here for him. All right, I'm gonna fast forward a little more because again, I just kind of want to see what he did. So he didn't get too much done here. I think he just killed a couple. Oh, did he? Okay, he actually didn't kill any workers, so that was actually even better than I thought it was. I didn't realize that he, he killed nothing here. I knew I defended it well, but um, didn't realize that he didn't kill any workers. I was able, uh, was able to limit creep a lot on this side, which helps my push through here later. He had no creep here, because I've been pressing this really hard with these medevacs. Okay, there's the fourth base, as I suspected. Um, did he get a macro hatch? Let's forward a little more. Okay, there's a scan to verify that it is, in fact, Hydras. As soon as I see that, I throw down the second factory. Again, just trying to push back creep. There is no creep to speak of there. Going for a run by. That's pretty damn ambitious. Yeah, he needs to pull that back. Additional queens, which is what I uh, kind of figured. Okay, there's the infestation pit. So the infestation pit is, I would say, more or less on time with the style that he's going for. I mean, he's defending against a 2 on one with Hydra Link Bane. Like he could could have just defended it with Ling Bane. Uh, and then, you know, thrown down his Hydra Lisk then at the same time that he's trying to go up to Hive. That would be a bit riskier, but some players do that. Okay, also the static defense does protect, or I'm um, Also, okay, so. Yeah, and okay, so he also went Spire before Hive, uh, which is you know not not really a, a big deal. Uh, you can you can do it either way, Hive and Spire like simultaneously. But yeah, so and we see his spending is pretty good. So I guess in the end, what it uh, what it was is he went with a really high number. I mean he's almost maxed out right now. He went with a, a, a really high number of Hydras, you know, not just like that Ling Bane defense. A couple of times at sprinkling in a few hydras and then uh, going up to hive as quickly as possible it looks like he wanted a really safe amount of hydraling bane so he like absolutely didn't take damage from the uh from the stim drops the stim marine drops let me check chat hey jamie yeah thanks for the whole yeah oh there we saw that okay yeah i think i got everything in chat but uh, and from this point forward i think it's pretty much uh pretty much straightforward as i said before he doesn't have much creep at all on this side uh granted this is his fourth base i'm just attacking him with his fifth but i'm at 2-2 right now against i think plus one carapace about i'm sorry plus two carapace about to be plus two melee yeah my 3-3 is on the way with that being said if he went straight into his 3-3 my upgrade window wouldn't be very long okay we see what he did though he went straight into Raider Spire, which definitely can work, especially when I have this many tanks. Like, I've got 12 tanks. Uh, his attempts at backstab, uh, backstabbing didn't go too well. Uh, we can see I'm out trading him really well here. There are the first Corruptors. Uh, I didn't get plus two vehicles. 
wish I would have. Also, he forced the lift off here. I was just so focused on um, on bike rowing here that I I should have relanded this much sooner. I see the Broodlords now. Tanks have a really good spread, but without yeah, without the ground support for the Broodlords, not in good shape. So, all right. Anyway, I think that pretty much um, pretty much shows what was going on. He went with a really long story short. He went with a really big army prior to um, prior to Hive. He just wasn't trying to rush it in any way. He wanted to make sure he didn't die or, or take sign significant damage, I should say, from the, um, from the initial two medevac drop and then three medevac drop. And he did go Spire. Uh, looked like probably about 20 or 30 seconds before Hive, which delayed it just a little bit more. So I think that explains it all. All right. Let's see. So how many games did it take <clears throat> to get this? I think it was like over 30 games. Yeah, so 30 and 12. And then the first the first <clears throat> 10 of these were... Oh, I'm sorry. Does this only count the ranked games? I think this only counts the ranked games, so never mind. Uh, yeah, so this is not counting the unranked games. The 10 unranked games, I think. Anyway, let's hop onto EU and try to get the uh, the MMR up a little bit there as well. What cost them the game? Still can't figure it even after the replay. Um, <coughs> so it was the number of tanks and the spread. It really just came down to the positioning. Uh, I had that um, the tanks were spread across that whole corridor of the map, and I attacked before he had um, before he had Broodlords. That's really all it came down to. If I would have waited, I would say uh, another certainly another minute even maybe another 30 seconds or so like if he would have had the broodlords on the high ground in his main base firing down on my tanks that engagement would have been completely different so as it happened i was able to kill his fifth base i was also able to kill a lot of hydraling bane prior to his broodlords completing so he also had to remake hydraling bane to support his broodlords Sure, but that's just saying Z can't defend versus 222 tank, uh, push versus tanks. Uh, well, they can, but if you let the Terran... Okay, well, it, um, shoot. If you guys don't mind, whatever. I'll, I'll go through it again, like, very quickly. So, like, we can look at it specifically. Yeah, it'll... Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Uh, it'll be really, really fast. But no, they, like, they certainly can defend against it. However, you have to keep in mind... The best way for Zerg to defend against it is to get a surround. If you fight straight up, one front, engage head on with a high number of tanks. So usually it's like anything over seven or eight tanks with Hydraling Bane. Uh, and you don't have some kind of wraparound or flank, you will usually lose the engagement. Uh, again, I'm just going to go to the final engagement of the game so we can look at it. But if you watch Pro, pro Zergs... Um, not even just pro Zergs, but I mean, Zergs on ladder do it to me. Uh, Dust, actually. Dust is a 5k EU Zerg, and he does it every single time that he engages me. Whoops, this is the wrong freaking one. I'm sorry. Um, every single time he engages, he gets a multi-angled attack. Sorry this is taking so long, guys. Give me one second. Yeah, so Zerg absolutely can defend 222 push with tanks. Yeah, my pleasure. I, I really I enjoy analysis and it helps me too, even whether it's a win or a loss. Uh, I'm a big, big believer in analysis. You know, not just for StarCraft, but like you know, with boxing, for example, I take a lot of video, both of my fighters and of myself, especially when I was competing. But you know, to check your technique. Um, you uh, look for flaws, and even if they're not flaws, you look for tendencies, etc. Uh, it's really, really important to study what you do. But anyway, so while this is setting up, I'll show you. So number one, I guess the first key to my success, as I was pointing out before, is I limited creep spread here. So that allows me to get to this position here and get a big spread on my tanks and get them in siege mode prior to the engagement. 
well, that's all that's already uh, a big deal because if i siege them up during the engagement you know you, you usually lose that engagement so denying the creep here sets up this attack which comes right here so that's number one uh number two like i said it was a matter of hitting at the proper time if i would have been a minute later maybe even like 30 45 seconds later his broodlords would have been right here and they would have been firing on my tanks here which would have completely changed the game so i guess the timing was um was the best possible timing that it could be for me hey falconet how you doing it's a chess and poker player myself oh you play chess as well uh do you play chess competitively and yeah analysis you know exactly like you said um whoops uh, we can rewind a tiny bit here. Um, yeah, for chess and poker is so, so important. How are you doing today, Falconet? Going to rewind just a tiny bit so we can see the setup. Okay, so as I said, I've been denying creep here this whole time. This is his fourth base. Um, you know, I uh, it just so happened that I wasn't clearing creep to attack the fourth. I knew the whole time I'm going to attack through here. I like attacking through here because once you gain control of this position in between all of the bases if i can get tanks set up here it's really hard for him to reinforce any armies because they'll all get caught as they rush in hey hey what's up beef good to see you man all right so anyway so the creep spread this is number one um his hive is not complete of course so this timing is really good for me uh let's see how many do i have with this i've got what so six tanks with this push. I have more joining up. So that, uh, that's already a good number of tanks. Like I said, I like seven or eight tanks with this push. I do hit with an upgrade advantage, uh, just a one upgrade advantage for a very short period of time. Uh, but the three, three is on the way. So like I said, this is like the best possible timing for me to hit. And I've set it up with creeps, uh, with creep denial so far. So anyway, I get up here, tanks are seized up. Tanks are getting off good shots. Medivacs are protected. Uh, so as you can see already, he's starting to fall behind. All right, we'll fast forward a little bit more until I'll get up into the next position. Keep in mind, his hive transition is going on this whole time. So his hive is now complete. Uh, he's going great, straight into Greater Spire. Bringing up all the reinforcements. Okay, so again, uh, we're going to get a good spread on the tanks. I'm trying to draw him into the tank fire. He doesn't really fall for it. Uh, also, keep in mind, Still Wind, that his idea, his manner of defeating this is to get Broodlords out. And without Broodlords, you know, it's not, it's just not going to work. He needs the Broodlords to deal with this because I'm leapfrogging everything forward. With these tanks here, especially in the good defensive position back here, I have control of this corridor. So, I'll play Cop Nova Silver. I used it was Canada. Whoa. So, you could teach me. Uh, yeah, you could teach me a hell of a lot then. Also, do you plan long stream today? Um, I'm actually not sure. I I'll be streaming for a little while longer. I'm done laddering on NA for now. Uh, I just got this account into Master 3, but I'm going to. I'm going to try to get my MMR up on EU on the same account. Candidate Master, yeah, that, that's pretty damn good. So usually that's what, like 2,000? 2,000, um, 2, shoot, Fide, or is it 2,000? I think it might even be a little bit higher than that, right? But yeah, like that, my my goal, like one of my goals in life on my bucket list is I want to become a, a Candidate Master. I've got a long, long way to go because you know, I'm still relatively new to the game. But uh, all right, So again, just trying to draw him into this. Uh, his main links didn't get good connections, we saw, so that definitely helped, by the way. He created was like 21 40. Yeah, that's freaking strong. That's awesome, man. I would love, if you ever if you ever want to teach me anything uh, about chess, give me some, some pointers. I would love that. But, alright, so again, he's just holding on as much as possible for, um, for the Broodlords. But, I mean, the space control here... It's, um, and so this is what this is the one thing I wanted to highlight. So keep in mind the best way, again, the best way for him to deal with this is with, you know, ideally, if he had an army here and an army here and an army here, he would collapse on this position and he would destroy it. If you watch Zergs, whether it's pro or just even just GM level play, when Zergs beat this push, 
it is almost always when they use a multi-angled attack because uh, the tanks, you know, these tanks are going to be firing here. They'll get like one, maybe two volleys off here. These tanks will be firing here. And, you know, these tanks are going to be firing here. But when it's a one front attack, I control all of this space. Like from here all the way in here up to my tanks. And then these tanks are controlling this. These tanks are controlling this, 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 etc. So the one front engagement is... Uh, if this, I'm sorry, if the Zerg goes for the one front engagement against this push, that's Terran's best chance to be successful with it. And part of having, uh, part of being able to successfully set this up, a uh, big part of it is denying creep. So if he doesn't have creep around here, if I'm not on creep with this army, it's harder for him to get the, uh, to get the surround or the multi-angled attack. Is this like, um, is this helping you? I have a better idea of why of why his defense didn't work still win. Okay, now he is trying the brood transition now. That's why he's banking up. He just got his corruptors out. He's going into the broods here. But again, I still control all of the space. Now I need to start leaping these forward. At this point, he's lost his ground army. And actually, my 3-3 is about to finish too, so it kind of gets worse for him there, but... Yeah, since he's lost his ground army, he no longer has the, the necessary complement to the group lords. But alright, before I exit, let me just make sure that I understand now. Awesome, man. Glad to hear it. Okay, so let's hit EU now.